from calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out the biggest differences between UK and US McDonald's. This is what a small drink looks like in the UK. This is a US small. This is what a medium drink looks like. This is a US medium. And this is a large. Oh, and this is a US large. So with our McNuggets in the UK, the default adult sizes on the menu are a box of six, a box of nine, or a share box of 20. Nuggets, you can get a box of four, or you can get a six piece, or 10, 20 for sharing, or ah, 40. And according to the three McDonald's in the area, they don't have 20 or 40 boxes. They just do them in increments of 10. But this is on the menu. In the UK, we've got three sizes of fries. These are our small fries in the paper bag. Here is the small fry. These are our medium fries in the iconic carton. Here is the medium fry. And then these are our large fries. And here is the large fry. So we couldn't find an exact weight measurement for the fries online, so what we're gonna do is weigh them ourselves. Just out of curiosity, we're gonna bring our trusty friend, the scales, back, and we're gonna weigh the Big Mac and see if there is any difference in size. I'm not sure there will be, but let's find out. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> so while McDonald's fries might look and taste pretty similar in the UK and the US, in the UK we only have three ingredients, which is oil, salt, and potatoes. The McDonald's french fries in America have way more ingredients. These fries are made from potatoes, obviously. A vegetable oil, which is canola oil, corn oil, soybean oil, hydrogenated, hydrogenated, genitated? Ha! Ah, thank you. Hydrogenated soybean oil, natural, beef, flavor, dextrose, sodium, acid, phosphatate, phosphate, phosph pyrophosphate, pyrophosphate, sodium, acid, Pyrophosphate, which is used to maintain the color. Uh, are they that much of a different color than the ones in the UK? Is it worth it? Can we get a side-by-side -side comparison? Are they that much more bright yellow? We need to put sodium acid pyrophosphate or whatever it's called in it. Salt, and I should mention that a natural beef flavor contains hydrolyzed wheat and hydrolyzed milk as a starting ingredient. And of course, I have no idea what that means. So the biggest calorie difference in a Big Mac actually comes from the sauce. In the US, they've got about 40 more calories than we do in the UK. We're not sure if this is because there's more sauce or because of the ingredients list. In the UK, it's just a little bit more simple. Our sauce is made of soybean oil, sweet relish, which is made of diced pickles, sugar, high fructose corn syrup, distilled vinegar, salt, corn syrup, all right, two, two types of corn syrup, xanthan gum, yeah. Calcium chloride spice extractives. Water, man, I've heard of that. Egg yolks, distilled vinegar, spices, onion powder, salt, propylene glycol alginate, garlic powder, vegetable protein, which has hydrolyzed corn, soy, and wheat, sugar, caramel color, turmeric, extractives of paprika, and of course, soy lechithin. 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 I don't know which one it is. So if you are trying to eat healthily at McDonald's, it might actually be the drinks that you have to look out for. That's nothing, guys. Our chocolate shake, 840 calories. That's as many calories as two cheeseburgers and one hamburger. So what does that all mean? If you were to walk into a UK McDonald's and order yourself a large Big Mac meal with a milkshake, it would be around 1,400 calories. And if you were to get the large Big Mac meal with the chocolate shake in America, the total here is 1,870 calories. So that's 1,870 calories 
the daily calorie allowance for an American dude is 2,500. Okay, so you have 630 left. Uh, one McNugget is 55 calories, right? So you could also have uh, 11 more nuggets and uh, there you go. That's all you need for the day. Here's everything you can only get at a UK McDonald's. So here we've got the Veggie Deluxe Burger, which is a veggie burger that's served with some mayo and some lettuce. Here we've got a Chicken Legend, which is a chicken burger, again, served with mayo and lettuce. Chicken Legend, I, I don't even know what that is. Not gonna catch on. That can stay in the UK. We have a range of wraps that you can get in the UK. We have a wrap of the day. Here we've got the Fajita Crisp, which is some chicken, along with some veg and some spicy Fajita sauce. Here we've got some veggie dippers. These were actually introduced as part of Veganuary in 2020 in the UK, but they've stuck on the menu. So these are Vegan Society approved, and they're sort of like a fried bean patty sort of thing. Like, pick a more unappetizing thing to get at McDonald's. Veggie dippers. And then finally, we've got some mozzarella dippers, which are just kind of mozzarella sticks, really. Well, sucks to be in the UK, because everything you see right here is USA only, baby. Ha-ha! <laughs> USA only! So I'm gonna talk about the coffee drinks real fast. Here in the US, we have all the same coffee drinks they do in the UK, but every coffee drink has an iced version and also a caramel and or French vanilla and or mocha version, depending on what you're getting. So we in the US, of course, have more variety. Shamrock Shake. The Shamrock Shake is like, it's like vanilla and mint shake. Strawberry Sunday. This has recently been discontinued in the UK. Sorry guys. Still got in the US. My favorite as a kid. Caramel sundae. Fruit and yogurt parfait. Maybe it's healthy, I have no idea. Probably not. Those were the cold items I wanted to get out of the way as they slowly melt under these lights. Got a lot more to go through. Harry, bear with me here, buddy. Buttermilk, crispy chicken sandwich. Yo, I think this was introduced when the chicken sandwich wars were really heating up when Chick-fil-A started taking over. Let's see what's under the hood. Look at that. Look at this. Yeah. Quarter pounder with cheese, deluxe. This is your fancy quarter pounder with cheese. This is uh, for a Sunday dinner. When you have company over. Ah, there's so much. Sausage breakfast burrito. Even after it's, for a while, it's like still like glowing yellow. <laughs> Now these are the buttermilk crispy chicken tenders. These smell amazing. I want to bite into these so bad. <laughs> I just take a big bite. I want to talk about sauces real quick. Okay, I'm at McDonald's and I go, give me one of everything. I've heard from the, I've heard from Harry and the team over at the UK that some of these they don't have, including sweet and sour, honey mustard. What else don't you guys have? I don't think you guys have ranch either or buffalo. I got to say though, the sauces are everything. We got a couple of sauces that are kind of unique to the UK as well. We've got a sweet curry dipping sauce, and then we've also got a salsa dip as well, which I didn't know existed until today. Oh yes, donut sticks. These donut sticks also come with the chocolate dipping sauce. Another thing I'm certain they don't have in the UK. Yeah, <laughs> breakfast is served. Look at this. Oh yeah, who's ready to start the day? It's McGriddle talk. <laughs> so for those of you in the UK who don't know what a McGriddle is, uh, the United States McDonald's had this genius idea. What if we took breakfast sandwiches, replaced the buns, and made them pancakes? and somehow injected some sort of syrup flavor into the pancakes. And the McGriddle was born, and I have to say, they're fantastic. This one right here, the bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle. This is the uh, sausage. Yeah? Hi. Hey. Hey. This is the sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle. American food engineering at its finest. Look at that. In the UK, you guys call biscuits cookies. Here, no. So in the UK, biscuits are cookies, or what we call cookies. In the US, uh, biscuits are what we call, uh, I don't know what else you can call them. Like, 
You bake them and they're from the south and they're dry and I don't know what they are. Much like the McGriddles, we have a version of every breakfast sandwich that instead of the regular bun bread, it's biscuits. Not the cookie biscuits like you guys have. Um, these biscuits. Joe, you were so close on the whole cookie biscuit thing. What you guys call biscuits, we would actually kind of call scones or scones, depending on where you're from. And the thought of putting breakfast food in between them is kind of weird. They're usually reserved for cream and jam for an afternoon tea. Last and in my opinion, least is this thing, the Southwest Grilled Chicken Salad. Can I, can I eat now? Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. I don't care how many calories, it's just really good. Mm-hmm.